Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. As far as camaraderie goes in the police department, specifically in the Abe District, it's a really tight group we have here. If an officer needs assistance, uh, a 1055, which is our signal for officer needs assistance, comes out, or signal 108, God forbid, officer down, then you see a really quick response by lots of officers. <laughs> All right, right now we're going to uh, a 103M. Uh, we don't know exactly what's going on, but the comment says uh, he's acting violent inside as of right now. It's inside a restaurant. It's inside of a restaurant called Decatur. It's right there, huh? Yeah. So where you can park. No, two park. So you got 65 12 Hey, bro, you gotta go, dude. You got your ID on you? Right, I don't wanna force you, I'm asking you to. Probably. Yeah, and Rouse, it's gonna be a while. Give yeah, Blake, just tell him to step it up, dude. He's right there, he's outside. Dude. Uh, 802 to 804, step it up. Chill out, man. Hey. Don't worry about that, man. Just roll out with him. Hey, Get on your knees. Get on your knees, man. Get on the ground, man. On the ground. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Put the glass down, dude. Put the glass down. Put it down. Put the glass 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 down. Put Put the glass down. Put down. Put the glass down. Put the glass down. Put the glass down. Put the glass down. Get on the ground right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get on the ground. 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 Get
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's laying on it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Get up. Oh. Get up. Get up. Get up. Right now! Ah. Let go. Quit fighting. <laughs> Quit on, fighting. Man. You got spray? Come on, baby. Quit fighting. Wait, you got I got you. Come on. Quit right. fighting. My arm's locked on his arm, dude. I got the arm. I got the arm. Go to your face. Go all the way to your face. Go all the way to your belt. Go all the way to your belt. Go all the way to your belt. Sit up. Sit up. Don't worry about me. I'm not going. I'm not going. I want you. I want you to just relax. Actually, yeah. Throw my head, please. Need some water? Not my. Thank you. Water to eight twenty. Yeah. Okay, eight twenty. Okay, you have to. I'm not doing the wrong thing. I can't throw it up. You can't do it. Yeah. Uh, I have no idea. I think it might be. How are you doing? All right. That was probably yeah. my spray to God. You got me good. I swear I come at me. I tried to put it right in his face. And yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. No problem. I know. I know you guys with me. Yeah. All right. Baby. Come on, man. Oh. Mike. Mike. You got a jacket? No, I don't. All right. Oh, we got you. Just walk straight ahead for me. Right? Oh, God, forgive me. We'll get it for you. Just right. walk straight ahead for me. Walk straight ahead, all right? We still really don't know the situation with those guys. We're going to let the guys from the mobile crisis unit take them over to Charity Hospital to be evaluated. We're going to go up to Charity Hospital and be treated for the pepper spray. So, I mean, he's going to be all right. Other than that, he doesn't have any injuries. If later on we determine that he's, he's in fact, not mental, but he's under the influence of some type of, narco some type of narcotic, then we'll go ahead and um, charge him accordingly. But, but a couple officers really got sprayed pretty good during that that fight. But it, it was rough. And I think you got the last shot of the last shot of spray or something. Well, somebody did. I, I don't know what. I spray. I, yeah, when he charged, I spray. Yeah, yeah. It was bad. Big guy. Oh, he was very violent and strong. Could have been a lot worse. He's a big man. Yeah, could have been a lot worse. I enjoy the adrenaline rush of it. I enjoy getting behind a stolen vehicle or any kind of felony suspect or running on foot after somebody. I, I just, I absolutely thrive on it. I love ending roll call and knowing I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what I'm going to get into. I don't know what, what's going to happen on the next call I go to. So I, there's, there's never a time when I, when I don't enjoy coming to work because of that reason. We're going to an unknown situation right now where, uh, um, a complainant called in stating that it was a female and a male screaming for help walking down the middle of the road. So they're unknown if a car was chasing them or what the deal was. So we'll check out. We'll see what's going on. Her daughter. Uh, I'm her fiance. I'm her uh, boyfriend. Okay, what happened? You tell me what happened. Hold on, hold on, hold on, just a second. You Come tell me what happened, boss man. Right here, right here, right here, right here. Okay, tell me what happened. Okay, she turned around, stopped right there, dead in her tracks, and turned around, and both of us jumped out. She's talking about it. She, um, don't get out of the car and not let you give me a card box. So I turned around and looked at her. I said, look, if I got two, I'd get away till tomorrow. I'll get paid. I pay for the pay the forty bucks. I pay for the dang stuff we got for one. Right. And turn around. And then she gonna go in there, squealing tires and backing out and come up here by real close by hitting her. And, to, and like, threw her off into the ditch. And she about this close, about this far by hitting hitting everything. She came up this way. Come here. All right, talk to me, darling. What happened? Hey, I know you put me out go. Right. She just yeah threw a truck and ripped me over off and down and sidewalk. Okay, how how did it how did it start from where she you got out you got out of the car and I what got happened? out of the car and she started running in the car and over there she turned the damn thing around and almost ran into me. Really? I had to jump. This is where she this is where she ran her car to. Yes. What is she back into that parking lot over there and then why what's the deal why does she want to run you over? Because she's been thinking how her dad money went in the last week and she gave me dad money and for me to take my kids out with. That's your mom? Yeah. Did you try to run her over? No. 
How did your car get over here? I drove it. Over here? On yeah. this side? Uh-huh. Well, did you let them out down there? No, they. Ju she opened the door and jumped out. And what? She and just then he and he jumped out the back door. And then I turned around over there and came over he over here to where they had just run across the road and running down into the ditch. Explain how this skid mark is. This part of your tire? I don't think so. Huh? No. Okay. Then how did the skid mark get here, honey? If you weren't, if you weren't chasing after them, I went. I was on the sidewalk and she came down and they were on the sidewalk. I wasn't no chasing after. Me. I was Are you hurt? I wasn't My chasing after. Hurt. I was trying to come along here beside her and say, "Listen, don't run away from me like this." The tracks start all the way over there. The witness said that she saw, or they saw, the two people running and screaming for help, and that a vehicle was possibly chasing after them. And then you got. You got skid marks all the way across the parking lot, back down here, and across the uh, road over there, which ran the victims into the ditch. You just leave me alone. Let me, let me get okay. <laughs> Will you just leave me the egg alone? Hey right now, please, and go. You don't leave me alone. You keep calling me. Won't help, and you keep on and you kept on lying to me. That's not leaving me alone. I won't call you another day no more <laughs> then. Hey, that's one thing. I'd like for you to, because I'd like to have a good relationship with you. But it's hard when you keep lying to me. It's hard when you've ended up putting bruises on me. When? No. August 25th of this year, you put down bruises on me that I wore for three damn weeks. How'd you end up on the side of the road? I drove up beside her and tried to say. But here's my thing. Give me here's my here's somebody, my problem. Somebody here. called in and said that, a, that she was now. screaming and you were trying to run her over. I wasn't. That's how we got called out here. I'm not you need rescue, sweetie? No, I just need to go home and get, get to bed. How far away do you live? Down the street. Come here. <laughs> right now, I need to get me a couple of wheels down here. Have a seat. Your head and your feet, okay? I want to get here so you're secure and safe. Have a seat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm? Are you sure you're not taking me anywhere? Well, we're, we're detaining you right now. That That's the truth right now. So I'll let you know what we're going to do, okay? I'm going to try to get a statement on your mom and tell me, write down what exactly what happened. Yeah. Your boyfriend, too. Okay. All right. Well, your mom's being in, put in jail tonight for um, aggravated assault, domestic. Okay. It's got, uh, this has got to be what's done in order to get her temper under control. So be it. Okay. I don't care if I have to put a restraining order against her. Becky, uh -huh. listen to me, okay? You thought you were talking to your daughter or, or y'all were having a dispute or, or whatnot, but being that the complainant saw you chasing them down and skid marks on the road and your daughter crying and another her boyfriend witness to it it it's aggravated domestic assault okay and he was yelling and screaming and he was yelling yeah, me a bitch i understand i absolutely understand what you're saying however the evidence right now is is against you okay so i just want you to understand why why you're going to jail okay when you get out of jail get some counseling or get something the one thing that helps in this job, and I would say in any job, is self-evaluation. When you think you've got it all down, you need to reevaluate yourself. Everyone needs work. Uh, perfection's a lifelong, lifelong strive. And I think once you become complacent, when you start doing less than adequate work. We're on our way to the 4200 block, where it looks like a father has just been in a bat in a fight with his daughter his adult daughter. He's now outside arguing with a neighbor and uh, seems to be still irate. It's going to be at 42, 42. Dispatch 592, standing over side. Star 92, copy, show you, Tenny. My name's Ray. Uh, 14, who's the, uh, the involved party? I'm the victim here, supposedly. How you doing, Ray? My name's Ray, I'm the neighbor. Supposedly there was a girl saying that I 
Oh, here we Hold go. Right here. Okay. We, we've got the... Okay, the so what's going on, right? Or something like that. I never did nothing like that. All I am, I'm, I'm paying attention to myself over here with my neighbor drinking a beer. You just neighbor here in the orange... Well, you both have orange shirts. I'm yeah, we're all in the union working. I'm, no, I'm a nobody. Okay. And then these guys are, this girl's trying to say that I'm touching her or hurting him. Some guy tried to run up to me to slug me, right? Who is this? Some guy back there. I'm sorry, but I slugged him out because he's not going to come out. I'm in my own yard, right? Right. This guy's trying to run up to me to beat the right, me. Right, right. So I slugged him hard. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Let me just check you out real quick. I'm not arresting you. I want to make sure you don't have any weapons on you. No, sir, I don't. All right, relax your arms. Spread your legs. I do. Well, that's fine, but you said you were nobody. I'll tell you right now, I do. My phone. And I will give it to you. I got a pocket knife, too. Gentlemen, hang on a second. I got one of them, too. I will it's give kind of it embarrassing, you. you know that? It's really kind of embarrassing. 214, I need assistance over here. I'm trying to be cool. cool. What do you have? I've, I've got a knife. I've got a blade on my pocket, so. I thought you said I wasn't under arrest. You're not under arrest, but I have three people to deal with. Okay. Have a seat in my car. Scoot all the way in, dude. It's, it's a real tight fit. My daughter come running home. She said that that guy attacked her, OK? She's got marks all over her body. OK. I, I came over here to talk to him. He got, uh, my nephew was with me. He got all crazy, and they started fighting. I told Robin to call the cops because she's my neighbor. And the next thing we know, she's on the phone to what, Robin. What was the fight about? To Robin. He attacked and my he, daughter. He attacked Why? Her. I don't think he just walked up and. He attacked her. Where's there your daughter at? In the house. I want you to okay, see her. Okay, let me talk to her. Thank you. Well, I'm concerned. All I knew about is a boyfriend getting socked to the chest. There's no boyfriend. All right. Mm -hmm. How old is your daughter? 20. 20 years old. Mm -hmm. No. Come in here. How are you? You're not real good, huh? What are you drinking? Beer. Trying to calm your nerves? Yeah. Wow. Are those bite marks? or, Ma'am, ma'am? Let me do my thing, okay? Thank you. I, I understand this is your daughter, and I understand that, but. For, for from my point of view, I just need you to just kind of step back and let me talk to her okay. as an adult, okay? okay? What What's going on? He is me. How, you know what? Can we talk privately? Can Can you guys step outside, please? Yeah. Let's go outside, Robin. Sit down, you guys. Have a seat. Okay. Actually, sit right over here. Have a seat. Sit right here. What happened? He is me. How? He Okay, I went over there, right, mm -hmm. and so he said he has some weed, and I'm like, okay, and he said he was gonna give me some, and I'm like, all right, cool, you know. Give you some what? Weed. Okay. And then I went over there, and we're sitting on the porch, and then he was like, you know, wait right here, right quick, and then I'm like, okay, and then he just drug me in the house by my hair, and then he just was like, he just threw himself on me because he started doing speed, and he was like, here, you want some? And I'm like, I don't. Do and that. this was at his house? Yeah. Okay. And I was like, I don't do speed. Okay. You know, and he's like, oh, come on, come on, trying to force me. And I'm like, no, I don't do that. And then he just attacked me, tried to take my pants off. And I didn't know he was going to do that. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. I understand. <laughs> Did he touch you in any place, by it? No, he just tried to take my pants off. Did you? Okay. How did you get away? Where did you hit him? I hit him in the face and the neck. Did you scratch him? <laughs> no, I have no nails. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> was he able to manipulate the zipper and the buttons on your pants? <laughs> he unbuttoned my pants. He did? Pants. Okay. Did he say anything to you while he was doing that? No. He didn't say anything at all? No. And you said that he was offering you speed? He kept offering me speed. Was there speed? Did you see it? He kept offering it, offering it. I'm like, man, I don't do that. You know, I have a three-year-old little boy. I don't need to go and be all wasted. Right. And he was like, he said, well, fine, then I'm just going to go to the bathroom. And I said, fine. And then he came out, his shirt was off, and he attacked me.
Okay. Has he ever come on to you in the past? No. Never? No. How long have you known him? Not that long. I just moved in with my mom. Weeks, days, months? I lived at my mom's for a week. I just moved so in. So you've only been here a week? Yeah. Okay. At this point, we're going to close our investigation with taking this gentleman to jail for attempted rape. Sit like you were before. Sit kind of sideways. Well, this was a, a disturbance between neighbors that ultimately was an attempted rape where the suspect was detained by neighbors before getting to the victim again. This is one of those cases where you just don't know what's going to happen when you go to a call. And in this, in this particular situation, we were fortunate enough to identify the suspect, locate the victim, identify the crime, and ultimately take the guy away.